G'day, how you going? Indianapolis here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video tutorial. I just want to get some sizes on the canvas there in centimetres and inches before we get going. And we'll get some colours going up the screen there for you as well. And this is designed so you can watch it and then set yourself up and play and pause and paint along with yours truly, all right? So we've got that underway. We're going to do a bit of a jetty water scene here then. They make a great painting and at the end of the painting we're going to whack a frame on it and just see how bloody good she looks, all right? So get on over here and we'll set the um, palette up with some paint colours and work out where we're going to put everything over here, all right? So come on. Now I've gone and drawn myself a jetty and I've continued it to a point so with that point we'll meet our horizon line but that'll be rubbed out and your jetty will be in perspective. So my jetty is going to, I mean my horizon line is going to be a tidbit under halfway so to get things started I want to do the sky. So I'll just mask up the bottom here first so we don't get all that drawing on us down there when we're not ready for it. Okay, I've got my craft student paint with some retarder mixed with that. We're going to paint the canvas with that. And then we've got our sky colours. I've got Indian yellow, cerulean blue. I've got red gold or just an orange, burnt orange colour and some titanium white. So I just firstly want to get this craft paint mixed with the retarder. Retarder, a lot of people still ask me, um, it's a medium, it's an additive you add to your acrylic paint and it slows down the drying time. So this white paint that I'm putting on is going to take a longer time than normal to dry. And we're going to prime the canvas up so as we can get our blue on there and it's going to blend and bleed and merge beautifully. So. Now I've got it on there, I'm just stroking it left and right nice and neatly. All right. Now I'm just going to wipe the brush on a paper towel like that. There we go. Just got the bulk of it off. Pretty easy, wasn't it, eh? And now I want to grab my cerulean blue. It's a, to me, it's more of a realistic sky colour. It's not too dark. And we'll get this up in the sky pretty much from the top. Look at that, it mixes with that white beautifully. And if anything, we want it pretty much a white by the time it gets to the bottom. You never have a fully blue sky, I've said it many a times. You want your sky to have atmosphere and a like a curve look to it. So we get the, the darker colour up the top and maybe the corners as well just to be artistic. And then we're coming down, crisscross it to bring that colour down if it's not coming down enough for you. And then massage it left and right into your canvas. There we go, we've got white, bright, lighter blue at the horizon line, okay? Now that I've washed it, I've just added some more of the white craft paint with the retarder because in this corner is roughly where I want my sun so I want to and why am I doing that because I don't want the yellow bleeding too much with the blue and making a green so there we go we've got our white at the bottom okay I'm very happy with that okay now let's grab the Indian yellow there's no retarder on my paintbrush and you can even use a uh, pouncer or your brush. Now I want pretty much my yellow about here and then bleeding up into that white just like that. If anything, I'm coming up, okay? You can keep yours straight if you want. It's totally up to you. You're your artist. There we go. Look at that beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm not even going to probably have to blend any of this. Okay, now I'll just wipe that brush on that paper towel down there and pick up some of that red gold slash burnt orange. Okay, and this colour I'm probably going to have to blend. So I want mainly, there's the tape, I could see the top of the tape. This is going right along there. Push it into it. There we go. And get some bits just scissoring 
get some more you want them splot oh not too much doesn't matter we're an artist and we'll be able to fix that up there we go beautiful now I'm going to grab a blending brush and blend that so as we got control over how it's looking so I'm going to grab my blending brush on its side and I want to blend this red gold into that yellow just get it nice and soft like get this area done first and then I'll come up to that top bit where it's kissing the the blue just up there now wipe your brush as you blend always make it a habit of having something to wipe your blending brush as you're, as you're blending if you're doing acrylic painting the way I paint and now everyone paints differently you might watch a lot of different other tutorialists they just have their own ways okay now don't worry how where this color is joining the blue we can weld that together with some clouds all right now before we do I've just got a damp pouncer and I want to get some of my titanium white mix it with some of the retarded craft paint just so as we can get a bit of a glare of the sun somewhere about here where's that about maybe about there yeah just about there dab it on and then just lightly destroy the edges a bit where are we we just got light mist in front of it you could still see the the round shape you put there pick up some more white if you need to and just create that shape again bang there we go nice how's that looking it's there it's subtle and it's there now what we need is a small fan brush some of the um orange here okay so we'll get some of that and we'll mix a bit of white with it just so as we're getting the temperament i'm going to mix a bit of yellow with it as well just so it's all those colors in front of the sun there and we just want to sit that sun back with some clouds now these ones if you put them on good enough you will not have to blend them you can just leave them brush finished okay like that get some down here on the actual horizon and we'll just get some of this there something a bit long as well these are in dark shadow because the sun's behind them okay there we go just sort of radiating up now we'll put some white clouds on there all right I've got a bit of a bigger fan brush I want to get some of this white titanium white that I had from the tube that I put onto my palette and use this and we'll put some beautiful realistic clouds in the sky and we want them looking like they're coming over our head so we'll start from here first and first we'll just weld some of this down so what I'm going to do is put something there and then I'll grab a blending brush and my blending my paper towel and we'll get some of this just joining those two together okay look at that it just mixes artistically nice let the turmoil happen keep them long at the moment beautiful I'm just going to add some more there just like that so I want probably some see this bit here I want to sort of hide that bit there and maybe come up here just like that and we'll turmoil that as well wipe it it's picking up paint already there we go now we'll put the clouds in the sky okay so I want some radiating out from here pretty much coming over our head stop grab your blending brush just in case it's gonna dry on you too much and we want these to blend and come out over our head they're going to mix with the blue which is what we want give it the turmoil keeping it across the page like I'm not going all up here I'm sort of controlling the shape how I want my clouds I want them in layers coming over the head coming from the middle this is going to be a big body cloud so I'm just creating it moving the brush it's 
getting light and dark blues everywhere. That'll do. Grab your blending brush and your paper towel or your cloth and blend this to the degree you want. Now in the body of that cloud, your brush is gonna create the turmoil. And the more you do clouds, the more you'll realize that turmoil is the magic that creates the realistic to your clouds. Now we might put just a bit more here coming over our head. That'll do. I want to keep the bottom of that, the bum, the bum, and then you can turmoil it all over the place, off the painting. Clouds are done. What they need, they're all pretty much the one tone. You can put shadow in them if you want, like weather, grey, or I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to just put the yumminess. So the yumminess, I've got a clean brush. I'm loading it up with the white, pure white. The white that we've just put on there is blended in with the blue a bit. So it has become a little bit tainted. And we just want to put our yumminess. So I want to try and create bits like that. Leave the brightness there. Just blend it down a bit like that. I'll try and do it so my brush isn't in the way. Okay, see what that one done. You probably put a little bit in this one here, just just bits like that. Sit it on there and sit it down. Sit it on and sit it down. Quite easy, effective, and it gives you lots of fulfillment knowing that you're going to do a great painting. There we go. We can do that to the cows come home, but that's enough. That is enough. If anything, I feel I've got them coming over my head. All right, I'll just take the uh, masking tape off and then we'll put the watercolour on, okay? Now, the watercolour is pretty much the colours we used at the top. So I've got the, first off, I've got the um, craft paint with some retarder in it. I'm just getting to that line. Where are we? There you go, somewhere around there. Good enough map this in okay wipe your brush pick up some of the cerulean blue which is about here we want things to just sort of wash in like that good enough wipe your brush i have some gray down here on the palette just to get some of these foreground colours a bit darker. Okay, I'll bleed all that through, that white, that retarded white, pushing it. Let's get that down a bit. There we go, now we'll go this way. Beautiful. Bit more grey maybe over here. Good. Very good. Now we'll pick up some of the yellow. Get that intensified over here somewhere. Doesn't matter if it goes a bit green because water can be greeny looking. There we go, like that. And then we got some of the red. We want that around about here. There we go, get that sort of danced in there. That'll do. Now we're gonna have something on the horizon to hide the lines. Now that's pretty much it. We can, if we want, pick up some white, just to get some hints of that. Oh, that's too much red there, let me wipe my brush. Oh, let's go and go and get rid of that. There we go. Get some white and get some indications of the clouds up there reflecting into the water as well. That'll do. Now, 
it's still wet, we need to put our beautiful reflection of the sun in there. I'm just going to use another smaller pouncer and I'm using the titanium white. Get that on there. And there's our sun. So we pretty much want him coming like that. Just down there like that. That'll do. While that's wet, grab your brush that you're doing all the water with and let's just pull that now like that. Beautiful. I want a bit more there, a bit more white. So I'm going to pick up an actual brush now and intensify the white there. Get on there. It's very wet. There we go. Come from the middle, out that way. From the middle and out that way. That's it. All right, I want to get a bit of sun reflection light glistening on top of the water surface there. So I'm just going to grab some tape again, a low tacking tape, and just sort of cover lightly like that. Just there like that. Don't press it on. Grabbing a toothbrush and some white, titanium white. And we just want to flick it in this area here where the sun is. And that'll make beautiful glistening reflections of light on top of the water. So we're just going to come about here, get some more. And we need this now because if whatever goes on top will sink it back down. So that white that I put on the water surface and brushed in with the actual brush, I'm um, detailing that now with this. So when someone just looks at it, it's just going to look like a um, beautiful light glistening on top of the water surface. That'll do. Let's get that off there. I dried the painting before I put this tape on there so it's not going to peel all the paint off. And you can see how the fleckles make it glistening on top of the water. Okay, I got my jetty. Now there's the point. I want that hitting the horizon line, which is pretty much there. And work out where you want your jetty. I want mine about, mm, maybe about here. Let's get it reasonably level. Now I've traced on the back with graphite pencil there. See, I held it against the window to do that. Now I'm going to grab a red pen and just pretty much go where I want my jetty. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty much done with that. We'll get that off there. Carbon paper is also a good way to transfer an image onto your canvas. So you can see my jetty now. Now, if you like, before you start painting, you can take a bit of time, grab a pencil and just detail that traceable that you put on there, just so as you can see exactly what you're going to paint, okay? Okay, I've got the raw sienna and I've been mixing it with some grey mix up a grey or I've just got a grey out of a tube. That's going to be my main block in colour for the jetty. So I'll just get the legs done. Or oh, not the legs, what do you call them? The poles, the posts. Try and keep them straight. I find a flat brush is great for these. Beautiful. Doesn't matter if it's rusty, can jaggedy and broken type because jetties are all jetties look nice when they're all rickety looking don't they
Okay, I've got some burnt umber. I've given everything a dry. I want a little bit of land mass out here. So I'll just go just out here, just something very little. What I mean little is like it looks far away. The top's reasonably level. I mean the bottom's reasonably level, but the top can be jaggedy and tree topped. And maybe a little bit on the other side. So I'll probably come about here. Here. I'm going to do the top like that. That'll do it. And then just map in the bottom as level as I can. There we go. And you know what I want to add into this? I'd love to add some birds fluttering out of the bushes as well. Now we want to look at the jetty. I'm going to use this colour while I've got it and we'll try and find the shadowy bit. So we'll get, let's say, this bit in shadow there. And we'll just do bits of shadows here and there of these posts and whatnot. a bit here. Shadow there, there, and then scrape in something along here just to create rustic vibes of planks and stuff. something on this side as well to make it look a bit shadowy. Okay, we'll probably get some joining underbearers underneath there showing. There we go, just like that. Now grabbing some white and that colour we blocked in, let's grab some more of that, where are we? Make up some more. Get some white with it so as we can create some light hitting that top plank so that jetty. We'll put those um, dark lines back but try and keep these, yeah like that, in perspective of the lines. See there. We'll put those dark shadow lines back once we're done with this. So I'm pretty much going like that, hitting it with the light. I mean, you can detail this as much as you want, really. Okay, I've just added a little bit more white into that mix, just so as we can get some light hitting the different areas of this structure. Somewhere. Get it a bit more distinctive and then we'll put the dark colours back. There we go, I'm liking that. It's like you hardly want to touch the bloody canvas. Hey, go get on there, that's it. There you go. Get planky and light reflecty and just using a script liner. I wanna get the messy underpearling join in there. Underpearlings and bearers are what hold all these joists and planks on the floor and then we'll get some I don't know bits of dark features coming up at it. 
We've got a bit of dark coming all the way up there. Just so as we think we know what we're doing. And maybe some along here. Big shadow along here. And what you can do as well, which I love to do, I suppose is just, I don't know, put some kind of um, rope, broken rope or string there, I don't know. Not everywhere, just periodically, maybe one there, and I might put one uh, coming off the painting here, just like that, and get some... Some birds calm down and you're getting carried away there. Here we go. Okay, I'll just put a few nail holes in that jetty and now I'm just going to put my autograph on here. Then we'll whack a frame on it and see how she looks, eh? So we can put my thing. I'll put it away over here somewhere. But check the links in the description below. All my tutorial paintings are for sale. There's a PayPal link there to make a purchase for your painting there's my art group page become a member of my art group page there's my patreons platform you can support me on my patreon page okay let's whack a frame on this and see how she looks oh. there we go that's not too shabby we've got a beautiful sun setting over the lake with a jetty and the jetty's in perspective we've got some birds floating up there it's a beautiful layout beautiful art piece and just remember you can do that okay so be sure to check out the links in the description below uh, share like and subscribe and if you like what i'm doing you tell your friends eh? but if you don't like what i'm doing you tell everybody all right all the best goodbye good luck and good on you